I can assure you that flying saucers, given that they exist, are not constructed by any power on Earth. President Harry S. Truman. I feel that the Air Force has not been giving out all the available information on these unidentified flying objects. You cannot disregard so many unimpeachable sources. Honorable John McCormick, Speaker of the House. I believe that these ET vehicles and their crews are visiting this planet from other planets, which obviously are a little more technically advanced than we are here on Earth. Astronaut Gordon Cooper. I believe the American people are entitled to a more thorough explanation than has been given them by the Air Force. I think we owe it to the people to establish credibility regarding UFOs and to produce the greatest possible enlightenment of the subject. Former President Gerald Ford. Of course flying saucers are real, and they are interplanetary. Air Chief Marshal Lord Dowding. We have indeed been contacted, perhaps even visited, by extraterrestrial beings. And the U.S. government, in collusion with the other national powers of the Earth, is determined to keep this information from the general public. Victor Marchetti former special assistant to the executive director of the CIA. I am convinced that UFOs exist because I've seen one. President Jimmy Carter. I must admit that any favorable mention of the flying saucers by a scientist amounts to extreme heresy and places the one making the statement in danger of excommunication by the scientific theocracy. Frank B. Salisbury. PhD. It is time for the truth to be brought out. Behind the scenes, high-ranking Air Force officers are soberly concerned about the UFOs. But through official secrecy and ridicule, many citizens are led to believe the unknown flying objects are nonsense. I urge immediate congressional action to reduce the dangers from secrecy about unidentified flying objects. CIA Director, Vice Admiral, Roscoe Hillenkeeter. We now have the technology to take E.T. home. Ben Rich, CEO, Lockheed Skunk Works.